if I'm honest, I didn't really know what engineering was when I started my, my journey as an engineer. My closest encounter with engineering was design technology, DT, at school. But when I ended up in my apprenticeship at Jaguar Land Rover, I knew that this was the perfect route for me. There was no question whatsoever. So I always had sort of the idea of going into engineering or science, but it took me a while to put the dots together. I actually um, dropped out of school before I completed my air levels and spent a few years doing different jobs. In my spare time, I was doing things like building computers or fixing equipment. And so someone said, well, why don't you do an engineering degree? And it's like, oh yeah, that makes sense. I am quite a practical person, very hands-on, and that definitely feeds into the reason why I did an apprenticeship. So being involved in a project like this, having the support that we did uh, was phenomenal because I really got the opportunity to express myself, use my practical skills, apply what we were learning, um, and some of those skills will stay with me for a very long time. I think what's surprising about a role in engineering is you don't have to be brain box of Britain to excel at it. You know, I, I, I think I'm probably fairly intelligent, but I've never thought of myself as you know, one of them high flyers at school who are really academic and, and I think that's a stigma that's usually around engineering and maths based subjects. I was always trying to fit a particular mould, try and fit the stereotype that we saw and that meant hiding a lot of who I was. You have this preconception of who a scientist is and it turns out that, you know, I've been in science a long time and there is a broad range of people that are scientists. I'd say that science isn't made up of the sort of people that you think it's made up of.